Trying to link Abacus with Fortran to use subroutines? Spent hours on YouTube and websites but still stuck? Don't worry, we've got the solution. Stay with us until the end of this video. People often tell us they've watched tons of YouTube tutorials and read through different websites, but their problem for linking Abacus with Fortran still isn't solved. Before we jump into the solution, let's quickly talk about what linking Fortran with Abacus actually means and why it's important. In fact, Abacus comes with a range of built-in features like predefined materials, loading conditions, boundary conditions, and default element types. But sometimes you need to run more advanced simulations, ones that go beyond what Abacus can handle out of the box. Think of things like custom material behavior or complex boundary conditions. That's where subroutines come in. Abacus lets you write these subroutines in Fortran to customize how your simulation works. To use those subroutines, though, you'll need a Fortran compiler to process the Fortran code. So, how does Abacus communicate with the compiler? That's exactly why you need to link Fortran with Abacus. To do that, you'll need to install a few extra programs alongside Abacus and make some changes to a few of the installation files on your system. The good news? You only need to do this setup once. After that, you'll be able to use any subroutine in Abacus whenever you need, no extra hassle. You can download the presented software for free through the links available in the description. Want to see if Fortran and Abacus are already linked on your machine? It's super easy. Just open the command prompt by searching CMD on your system. In the window that opens, type in a simple command and see what message appears. For example, if you get this message, it means Fortran has been linked properly with Abacus's standard solver. Otherwise, you'll want to keep watching so you can fix the issue yourself. Also, if you want to check whether Fortran is linked with Abacus's explicit solver, you can use this command instead of the previous one in the command prompt. Then, check again to see if Abacus Explicit is linked with Fortran on your system. However, if Abacus Standard isn't linked, it's very likely that Abacus Explicit isn't linked either. Now that you've made it this far, you've probably run that command, and like many others, you're seeing the Fortran Abacus linking error. Don't worry though, let's go ahead and fix this issue together, step by step. You're probably wondering, what extra software do I need to install? And more importantly, are these tools free, or do I need to buy a separate license? Well, here's the good news, you don't need any extra licenses. All the tools we're about to mention are completely free to use. In the slide you're looking at, we've listed all the software you'll need to link Fortran with Abacus, along with the correct installation order. As you can see, assuming Abacus is already installed on your system, the first step is to download and install Visual Studio. Next, you'll need to install the Intel One API based toolkit, which you can find on Intel's official website. After that, download and install the Intel One API HPC toolkit, also from Intel's site. At this point, all the necessary software is installed and you've basically completed the main setup. After downloading and installing all three programs in the order we explained, the next step is to make a few changes to some of the files installed on your system. This part is a bit sensitive and needs to be done carefully because most people run into errors right here. Given the importance of this topic, we've put together a PDF for you that outlines all the step-by-step -step details for downloading and installing the necessary software. This includes official download links for the software, the required installation changes, the packages you absolutely need to install, and step-by-step -step instructions for modifying pre-installed files on your system. By following the PDF, you can easily complete the installation on your system without any worries. Additionally, we've attached a video to the PDF where we've walked through the entire process from start to finish and recorded our screen. So, if you've already watched YouTube videos and checked websites but Abacus and Fortran are still not linked, I recommend watching the video and checking out the PDF, which are included in the training package on the CAE Assistant website to help solve your issue. To access the training package available on our website for linking Fortran and Abacus, which includes both a detailed PDF and an introductory video, 
simply click the link provided in the description. As shown in the table, this training will enable you to learn and perform all the steps of linking Fortran and Abacus yourself with complete detail. And if you follow the steps in the video and PDF and still encounter errors, you can request support through our website. Our experts will then check your issue and assist you via an online consultation session. These are the unique advantages that set us apart from other educational platforms, so you can trust us with complete peace of mind. Thank you.